For today's session, you are going to learn about adding and subtracting dissimilar fractions. When we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions with different denominators. Ito po yung mga fraction na mayroong iba't ibang denominators. Example, two-thirds, four-fifths, and three-fourths. Sila po ay mayroong iba't ibang denominators. Yung three, yung five, at saka yung four. One way of adding and subtracting dissimilar fractions is by using butterfly method. Let's have some example. First example, one-fifth plus two-sixths. Or, pwede natin siyang basahin as one over five plus two over six. So, using the butterfly method, ang una natin gagawin, we are going to multiply the denominators, which is five and six. So, five times six, the answer is thirty. Okay, next we are going to multiply this diagonally and also this one. Okay, so let us multiply. 1 times 6, the answer is 6. 5 times 2, the answer is 10. Okay, so 6 plus 10, the answer is 16 over 30. Okay, now take a look at our answer. 16 over 30. Ang pinakahuli nating gagawin, we are going to simplify our answer if possible. Okay, nakasimplify na po ba itong 16 over 30? No, hindi pa. So, ano po ang gagawin natin? We are going to divide them by their GCF or yung kanilang greatest common factor. So, ngayon, ano po ang greatest common factor ng 16 at saka 30? Yes, yun po ay 2. So, let us divide them. 16 divided by 2. The answer is 8. 30 divided by 2, the answer is 15. So, therefore, our answer or the sum of 1 fifth plus 2 sixths I 8 over 15. Next example, 4 fifths plus 2 thirds or 4 over 5 plus 2 over 3. So, again, using the butterfly method, ano pong una natin gagawin? We are going to multiply first the denominators, which is 5 and 3. So, 5 times 3, the answer is 15. Okay, next, we are going to multiply this diagonally and also this one. Okay, so 4 times 3, the answer is 12. 5 times 2, the answer is 10. Okay, so 12 plus 10, the answer is 22 over 15. Okay, now take a look at our answer. 22 over 15. Okay. Ito ba ay naka-lowest term na or naka-simplify na? Yes, naka-simplify na siya or lowest term na siya. Pero, siya po ay isang improper fraction. Mataas po ang kanyang numerator kaysa sa kanyang denominator. So, ang gagawin po natin dito, we are going to convert this or we are going to change this into mixed fraction or mixed number. So, papaano po? So, ganito po yan. We are going to divide 22 divided by 15. Okay, ayan po yun. 22 divided by 15, the answer is 1. 1 times 15, the answer is 15. 22 minus 15, the answer is 7. So, 22 over 15, kapag naging mixed number or mixed fraction, ay magiging 1 and 7 over 15. Therefore, ang sagot po o yung answer, the sum of 4 fifths and 2 thirds ay 1 and 7 over 15. Another example, we are going to subtract fractions. 3 fifths minus 3 sevenths or 3 over 5 minus 3 over 7. So, applying the butterfly method, ang una natin gagawin, we are going to multi multiply the denominators. 5 and 7. So, 5 times 7, the answer is 35. Next is, we are going to multiply diagonally and also this one. So, 3 times 7, the answer is 21. 5 times 3, the answer is 15. So, 21 minus 15, the answer is 6 over 35. So, again, 
the last step that we are going to do, we are going to simplify the answer if possible. Now, 6 over 35 ba ay nakasimplify na? Or lowest term na? Yes. So, therefore, the answer, the difference of 3 fifths and 3 sevenths ay 6 over 35. Another example, 3 over 4 plus 1 over 8 minus 5 over 16. As you can see, meron na po tayong tatlong fractions. Ang tanong ko, applicable pa po ba ang butterfly method dito? Hindi na po. Kapag more than 2 na po ang given numbers, ay hindi na po applicable yan sa butterfly method. So, we need to apply the conventional method. Kailangan natin kunin ang LCD ng mga denominators na ito. Okay? So, sabi natin, ang LCD at LCM ay parehas lang yon. So, we are going to get the LCM or LCD of 4, 8, and 16. So, sabi nga natin na pag-aralan natin kung paano kumuha o kunin ang LCM or LCD. Meron tayong iba't ibang way or process. Meron tayong iba't ibang method. Isa doon ay listing method at saka continuous division. Okay. So, alin man doon ang gamitin natin? ay parehas lang din naman ang kagalalabasan ng sagot. Ano? So, so itry natin ngayon ang listing method in finding the LCM of 4, 8, and 16. Okay. So, ano nga po ang mga multiples ng 4? Okay. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. Ano naman po ang multiples ng 8? 8, 16, 24, 32, and so on. How about 16? Ano po ang mga multiples? 16, 32, 48, and so on. Okay. So, may napapansin tayong common na multiples sa kanila. Ano po yun? Yun ay 16. Okay. So, ang LCM or LCD ng 4, 8, at saka 16, ang LCD po nila ay 16. Okay, so, ang sunod na gagawin natin, yung LCD na ito, i-divide natin sa original na denominator, and then yung sagot, i-multiply natin sa numerator. Ganon din po dito. Ang 16 na ito, i-divide natin dito sa original na denominator, and then yung sagot, i-multiply natin sa numerator. Ganon din dito. Ang 16 na ito na LCD, i-divide natin doon sa dating numerator, a uh, denominator na 16, and then multiply natin doon sa numerator. Okay, so let's start. 16 divided by 4, the answer is 4. 4 times 3, the answer is 12. Okay, and then copyhin natin yung operation na nandun. Now, 16 divided by 8 is 2. And then 2 times 1, the answer is 2. Copy again the operation. 16 divided by 16, the answer is 1. 1 times 5, the answer is 5. Okay, now, 12 plus 2, the answer is 14. 14 minus 5, the answer is 9. And then, copy the denominator, which is 16. Okay. Now, ang pinaka-last step natin ay we are going to simplify the answer if possible. So, ngayon, ang 9 over 16 ba ay nakasimplify na or nakalowest term na? Yes, kasi wala na po silang common factor. So, that means they, uh, ito po ay nakasimplify na or lowest term na po siya. Okay? Last example. 3 tenths plus 2 thirds plus 4 fifths. Okay, sabi natin kanina, hindi na po applicable ang butterfly method. So, kailangan natin ay... Conventional method. Kailangan natin kunin ang LCD ng mga denominators na ito. 10, 3, and 5. So, sabi ko kanina, meron tayong iba't ibang way, iba't ibang method para kunin ang LCM or LCD. Okay? So, meron tayong listing method, meron tayong continuous division or ladder method. ba? So, ngayon po, itry natin naman ang uh, continuous division or ladder method sa pagkuha ng LCM or LCD. Okay, so una, we are going to write the uh, the given numbers horizontally, di ba? Okay, like this. Okay, so alin po ba ang may common prime factor dyan? Okay, yung 10 at saka 5. Yes, so 10 divided by 5, at 5, the answer is 2. Ang 3 naman, hindi siya divisible sa 5, so 
Baba lang natin siya. And then 5 divided by 5, the answer is 1. Okay, ngayon, ang 2, 3, and 1 po ay wala ng common prime factor. Kahit yung dalawa ay wala na rin po. So therefore, okay, ito pong nasa labas na ito at saka itong nasa ilalim na ito, nasa baba na ito ay ang ating LCM. So ang gagawin natin dyan ulit ay multiply natin. So 5 times 2 times 3. Okay, 5 times 3 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. So ang ating LCM or LCD ng 10, 3, and 5 ay 30. So, okay, so, sabi natin kanina, ang gagawin natin ulit, ang ating LCD na ito ay i-divide natin doon sa original na uh, denominator, and then yung sagot, i-multiply sa numerator. Ganon din po sa iba. Okay, so let's start. 30 divided by 10, the answer is 3. 3 times 3, the answer is 9. And then, copy the operation na nandoon. 30 divided by 3, the answer is 10. 10 times 2, the answer is 20. And then, 30 divided by 5, the answer is 6. And then, 6 times 4 is 24. Okay. Now, so, 9 plus 20 plus 24, the answer is 53. Copy the denominator na 30. Okay. So, Ang 53 over 30 ba ay nakasimplify na or lowest term na? Yes, kasi wala na silang common factor. Pero ito po ay isang improper fraction. So kapag improper fraction, we need to change or convert to mixed fraction or mixed number. So paano po ulit yon? So ganito yon. So, di-divide natin ang 53 divided by 30, ayun. 53 divided by 30, the answer is 1. 1 times 30, the answer is 30. 53 minus 30, the answer is 20. Okay, so, ito So, 53 over 30, kapag uh, naging mixed number ay magiging 1 and 23 over 30.